Hello and welcome to Jam and Chat. My name is Matthew and I'm your host. Today I have with you Jennifer Valiquet, the classical woodwind master. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I'm down for anything. Oh, okay. That's not anything. really big help. That anything? <laughs> what? Anything. Huh? You're down for anything. Uh, depending on how hard it is. <laughs> how about 200 beats per minute? Oh, <laughs> It's called Hippie Chicken. All right, let's do it. I'll this try is it. <laughs> this is this is my, my my other new release. I'll give you a big solo in it. Do you want flute or saxophone? <clears throat> Whatever you're feeling. I'll and, see, I'll let you do a verse the, the first part of it and I'll see what what I feel. <laughs> Here's a strain of weed you might want to try Hippie chicken, if you're the type who likes to get high Hippie chicken, daytime energy, go boy go Hippie chicken, sweeps me into a creative flow Father was a dream, they say Hippie chicken, pollinated mother then ran away. Hippie chicken, mama is the great blue dream. Hippie chicken, together they made quite the team. Green. Hippie chicken asking for an ounce of double dream. Hippie chicken, hippie chicken is what I mean. Hippie chicken. I love that. <laughs> hippie chicken. That's it. That's that it. That's it. There too? You have it yep. on YouTube? Mm -hmm. That's on YouTube to start, too. I'm going to have to catch up. <laughs> I wrote. I, I did a two. Song, I saw an ad for a write seven to songs in seven days challenge thing. Well, uh -huh. I just ended up writing two songs in two days. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still struggling with the song I'm writing. <laughs> but I didn't just write them. I also recorded them and published videos for them the same day for both of them. That so so that was the challenge. Yeah. yeah. But then That's I had pretty. other stuff to do the rest of the week, right? You know. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm still working on writing one. <laughs> like, well, but but I, I'm trying to show you, Jennifer. Look, your first song's not going to be your best song. No. So just write it. Just get it over with. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just, I mean, you know what I mean? How are you going to get better at it if you don't, you know, just start the exactly. first time? I think it's really important that we get out of our comfort zone and we just, you know, we keep pushing the bar of what we're capable of. And, you know, what we think we're capable of oftentimes limits us. Right. Um, I'm going to give a good example. Another topic of conversation. If you're a small YouTube channel and you want to start making some money, and this is, this is something I'm working on right now, um, I joined the Amazon affiliate program. And so my idea is... To try to, you know, if people want to get music gear, right, stuff they wanted to get anyway, right, then um, why not have them order it from me? And so it's kind of particular the way it works. Um, yeah. You have to um, create links for the specific product listings that you're going to be selling. And then literally they have to buy the item literally from that link 
not it can't be a different version from a different seller it has to be that exact screen that they buy it from but you can make like five to fifteen percent on the sale which is or five to ten percent I'm sorry not fifteen right, right. but the um, but the the idea is is that once you've created that link then you know that link can be used over and over again by multiple people so um, I'm gonna put a link in the description if anybody wants one of these microphones here it's hard kinda hard to see it's a zoom h2 and it's actually really cool because it's a it's a recorder and a microphone that and cool. it has a card in it so and you can run batteries with it okay so this thing um, uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys want one but it's a great microphone um, I've been using it for jam and chat from the beginning um, it's because it's a condenser mic and so it can pick up my guitar and my voice and I'm just plugging in like uh, right from the audio out directly into the audio on my computer um, and and that's because I'm using Zoom is why I'm not using an audio interface for all you tech guys. Um, the Zoom is it doesn't like my audio driver on my interface. Yeah. Anyway, if you want one of these, get it. But I'm not trying to sell it. It's just if you wanted a microphone or a portable recorder anyway, right? Well, then use my link. It's going to be in the description so you can get one. Um, and so... I'm going to do that with all kinds of things, like I'm going to make an Ewe video, right, and put a link to the Ewe. Hey, if you want to buy an Ewe, you can get one just like mine. Uh, mm -hmm. Same thing with the with the saxophone. What do, you, do you have a Summer Paris? Is that what you have for your alto? Yes, Series 2. Series two. Right. I have the same thing. Yeah. So I'm going to do a video where I put a link to that. Hey, if anybody wants a new, new professional saxophone for Christmas, you could get the same one that I have. Whatever. There you go. So this is I, a beautiful horn, by the way. So. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it so much. It's my favorite. Um, I, in fact, I'll put a link for that in the description, too, because I've already made it. Um, That's so, what I have for my soprano as well. It's a Selmer Paris uh, Series 2 soprano. Yeah, the, I mean, especially for classical, but I mean, just in general, they're just amazing horns. Unless yeah. you're going to get, like, a Mark VI or something, I mean, good luck finding a better horn. I remember, you know? um, if, if, I, is it, if it's okay if I discuss something, when I was trying out um, horns, I went through a few different ones. And, of course, mm -hmm. I was looking for a more classical sound because um, at the time I was going to school for, you know, classical, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but... Um, I tried, a, I tried a few horns. My professor played them behind my back, and he goes, which horn do you like the best? Raise your hand. It was between a Yanagasawa um, mm -hmm. and also even a Yamaha mm -hmm. and, and the Selmer Series 2. This one won. <laughs> so mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Like, I closed my eyes. I was like this. I was like this. And he goes, Series 2. <laughs> so we, we just had a few in there because he's, he's got a bunch of horns. So, <laughs> but. Well, when I went saxophone shopping, um, mm -hmm. It was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, we went to uh, this big fancy music store at the time, and um, I knew I wanted a Selmer Paris because my teacher was suggesting it, and some other people I knew had them, and you know they loved them. So mm -hmm. I pretty much already decided what what type I wanted. But I played three different horns. Right. Oh my goodness, the the difference was not much, but. I fell in love with mine, and the other two were good, but I fell in love with mine, and mm -hmm. I, I have been playing on the same saxophone, my same alto saxophone, for, oh my god, 25 years now. No, seriously, I since I was 18, I've been playing on the same saxophone. Yeah. It doesn't look 25 years old, you, you know? Taught, you taught me a few lessons on that saxophone, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's... um. It's just one of those things. So if you obviously, I mean, it's expensive. Uh, it's it's. Mm -hmm. I, I think the current price on is like six grand or something. They're a lot, um, but they're worth it. I mean, mm -hmm. if you if you want some, if you want to spend thousands on a saxophone, get a Selmer Paris Alto, especially, especially yeah. the altos. I just I loved it. Thank you very much for joining me on Matthew's Music Lesson Studio. Please share this video, like, and subscribe to join my more than 500 subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. And please continue to tune in for all the great shows that I have to offer you. Thank you so much for joining me. And did you know that you can get online music lessons from me on Zoom? I record it MP4 for you. And you can then review that lesson forever. You can have it so we can go over it. You can practice along with it. And then that way, no matter what, you can relax and enjoy the lesson. So please, Matthew's Music Lesson Studio. I'll see you guys next time on Matthew's Music Lesson Studio.